Hi, I'm Sean Sangwon Park. I'm a prosthetic urologist. Uh, my practice is limited to the uh, inflatable penile prosthesis surgery and practicing in Seoul, South Korea. I was able to have a chance to give a lecture at the Vietnam's CME online conference. So CME, as you may know, is a continued medical education. And uh, it was done in the hospital. I went to, to do the first uh, penile implant surgery in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City. I was offered to talk about two topics. The first one is how I do with my erectile dysfunction practice. The second one was a scrotal approach of the inflatable penile prosthetic surgery. Throughout our, uh, my residency, uh, I was able to get trained uh, ample amount of the critical diseases like uh, kidney cancer or prostate cancer, bladder cancer, benign pro pro uh, prostatic hyperplasia or BP so-called BPH and so on. But I was not really able to see many patients with the erectile dysfunction and of course I wasn't able to get a proper so-called training throughout my practice because uh, where I practice in South Korea, ED patient usually comes to the private practice rather than uh, uh, tertiary centers like uh, university hospitals. Uh, urologists are having a hard time to get trained properly with the ED practice. That's the reason why I won't tell them about uh, how I do with my ED practice. As I do the uh, uh, penile implant surgeries, I happen to specialize in ED practice. At the last of the, my talk about ED practice, I told them we surgeons or we doctors should really think about the treatment modalities we are offering, who benefits the most. The treatment I offer to my patients, does it benefit the patient more or does it benefit me better, me more? So which is that uh, trust between doctors and the patients are huge issues. It's not just in South Korea, but all around the world. So I told them uh, truthfully and uh, honestly, you know, I really think that when we doctors are offering some kind of treatment modalities, it should help patients more than it helps us. Otherwise, the treatment modality itself loses its value. Of course, it will negatively affect that practice in the long run. So if someone really wants to grow their uh, quality of life medicine practices, especially erectile dysfunction, the treatment modality should weigh more toward the patient, not toward the doctors. That's uh, something I learned over the past 10 years of my ED practice. And about the scrotal approach of the penile implant, uh, inflatable penile prosthetic surgery is uh, designed to for the uh, all the doctors, not the experienced ones. Because uh, there are three approaches with the inflatable penile prosthesis, scrotal, infrapubic, and the subcoronal, which I do uh, frequently. But in my eyes, scrotal approach could be a gold standard for those who start with the surgery, because it has a great uh, anatomic you know, view, and it kind of prevents the many of the complications just approaching the scrotal. For the new beginners or the newcomers to this field, they should uh, get an ample training with the scrotal approach. Uh, that's what I thought, and uh, that's the reason why I picked that topic for the second talk. And uh, as uh, they asked me to give a two, two hours of the talk, so it was a quite long talk. <laughs> and they wanted to record the video, and I did that again. And the Q&A session go on, went on, so it was a quite uh, interesting meeting. But uh, honestly, I would rather go there and give the talk uh, directly and watching their eyes and listen to their what they're saying and feel the mood of them. Because online meeting, you can't really feel the audience's at, uh, you know, atmosphere. That's a shame because of the COVID. But still, it was an enjoyable moment.